Hello YouTube people, this is not a review, I just wanted to make a short video about my modified Casio watch. My favorite Casio watch, probably my favorite watch overall, I don't know. <laughs> but I just keep coming back to this watch. So if you wanna see the original review of this watch, I will leave the link in the description. So about the modifications, what have I done to this watch? First of all, I have swapped second hand to the blue one and in the process I broke the movement somehow and I ordered another Miyota movement from eBay which is the same model exactly and it costs just two euros <laughs> so I changed the movement and I was enjoying this watch for a while with blue second hand but later on I got a little bit bored of it so I changed hands completely and they didn't look that good and I swapped hands back <laughs> again to the original but this time I put the red second hand and in my opinion the red second hands on this watch works the best so yeah I was enjoying it for a while but also got a little bit bored <laughs> and the next thing I did I took a sponge from the kitchen and brushed the case with the hard side of the kitchen sponge and now it's matte finish well my wife says i have ruined the watch <laughs> but me personally i like what i did i like how it looks like and one good thing about brushed finish that you can no longer see fingerprints on the case before it was like you just touch the watch and that's it the fingerprint is on the watch now the only place where you can leave a fingerprint is on the sapphire crystal that's it and by the way, speaking about the watch very quickly, so I'll remind you what kind of beast is this. Well, it's small Casio quartz watch and it has sapphire crystal and it is 37 millimeters in diameter. So I just love the proportions of this watch. And speaking about this movement, well, yeah, it's Miyota cheap movement, just two euros, but it's very, very accurate. I, the last time I set the time was when I swapped uh, the second hand and still, well, I don't know, two weeks have passed probably and still goes second to second. It's ridiculously accurate. And another thing, even though it's Miyoto movement that costs only two euros, it makes no ticking noise whatsoever. Even the movement, naked movement, you have to put closely to your ear and listen very, very carefully to hear any kind of ticking so when you put this movement into the case there is absolutely zero ticking nothing i i just love that it's cheap but so good it's so good it's very accurate so everything about this watch i just love this little strap monster and that's why i'm showing you how this watch looks like right now on these straps well personally me i like black nato strap the best with this watch but i don't know sometimes i swap with some different kind of strap and i would like you to tell me your opinion which strap looks the best for you <laughs> so yeah i just can't get enough of this watch i keep modifying it i keep swapping things and doing all crazy things about this watch you know next modification i would do i really miss one function on, on this watch if this watch would have a date window that would be just absolutely perfect daily watch for me because i just keep forgetting what day it is <laughs> and uh, that would be a little bit difficult i would need to source out the movement uh, with date window that would probably be something from casio edifice maybe to fit in this watch and i would need to cut out the hole for the date window which I'm afraid I am not good enough to do that nicely <laughs> but I don't know maybe one day but currently I'm happy how this watch looks like right now at the moment it at least for me it looks per, personally for me it looks wonderful tell me your opinion how you think it looks like right now with this brushed finished and red second hand as I said my wife said that I have ruined this watch but me myself i couldn't be happier with the way it turned out to look now it looks absolutely incredible like a field watch but kind of mixed with a dress watch 
because these indexes are shiny and this whole watch sprinkle sparkles a little bit in the light with this sunburst dial and these shiny indexes but when you look from the side it's matte finish it looks so cool i, I just can't get enough of this watch I, I love it so much such a wonderful casio watch and i un don't understand one thing seriously when i look at amazon reviews there is only like one review two reviews and they gave only one star for this watch for some reason i just don't understand this is such a crazy good watch absolutely wonderful no ticking noise has sapphire crystal screw down back case and the the crown has rubber seal it's not screw down crown but it has rubber seal and all that combined it has five bar water resistance plus it has casio brand name on it so which means probably plus three bars maybe by default <laughs> because just because it's casio <laughs> but yeah so and it costs around 60 euros this watch this beautiful watch costs just 60 euros yes the bracelet is quite honestly a throwaway bracelet it looks horrible feels horrible and it's just you buy this watch take the bracelet off and just throw it away <laughs> and put it on some kind of nato strap or custom bracelet whichever you prefer because the original no, it doesn't even look good the first link and the second link in between them there is a huge gap it doesn't look nice it, it doesn't feel good on the hand just no but the watch itself is a gem i don't understand how this watch is not more popular things like casio dura so popular but so expensive right now and a lot of other watches which i clearly see the reason why I, why they are so popular but this one you people constantly complain in other youtube videos on other channels that you need watches smaller than 40 millimeters you always want something like 38 millimeters and so on this beauty is 37 millimeters it looks wonderful such a strap monster seriously if you have a hand size similar to my hand you can see in the description the size of my hand i highly recommend this watch just pay attention to this watch it's a wonderful watch seriously look it look it up don't pay attention to any reviews and don't pay attention to those pictures they don't do the justice you have to see this watch in the person it looks absolutely incredible it's wonderful so elegant so simple yeah yeah i wish there was a little bit less text on the face like casio quartz quartz is not necessary like sapphire water resistance 50 meters well for me water resistance 50 meters on the face it's not necessary sapphire would be enough but it's just you know small things it just doesn't matter and the case finishing original finishing is pretty good i have no complaints but after brushing this finish with a sponge from the kitchen <laughs> with the hard side of the sponge it looks wonderful and you know it was very easy to do it took me like 10 minutes maybe less just brushing it off all this shiny surface and you know why it was easy because i didn't need to protect this glass it's a fire glass you can brush it with the hard surface of this kitchen sponge all day long it just doesn't care <laughs> no not a single scratch you can literally build sand castles using this watch <laughs> and no scratches on the glass whatsoever i i'll show you some pictures that i actually did something like that i dig the hole put the watch into the hole and buried it in the sand <laughs> just was i was just messing around in the baltic sea beach with this watch just using it as a tool to build some little castles of a sand <laughs> that's how i like that feeling about the watch that i can just take it off my hand just throw it down on the sand i just don't care it, it i know it's gonna survive it's gonna be fine later on i brush the surface a little bit to you know clear off these scratches of the case but the glass itself it just doesn't care not a single scratch it's such a wonderful watch seriously i love having that feeling on the hand that i have a tough watch on the hand i cannot i can trust this watch i can bump it into door handles and so on and 
and I don't need to care about it. Overall, it's just 60 euros watch, you know, it's not like something crazy. <laughs> yeah, 60 euros is still some money, but come on. You can drop this watch down on the on the floor at nothing. I have did that so many times. Seriously, I have dropped this watch so many times. And even if this movement breaks, I already changed the one movement, which I have broke myself by trying to remove the crown a little bit too heavily. And this movement is just two euros. And it's wonderful movement. So, and it's easy to source it out. It's on eBay. Just open up the case back, watch the serial number of the movement, and look on the eBay. And that's the movement that costs two euros. <laughs> that's a, that's great. I love things like that. Such a wonderful watch. So why am I making this video? Well, I want give more attention to this watch. People, look at this watch. It's a wonderful watch. Pay attention buy it <laughs> it's amazing and i'm not making an ad or something i'm not making any money of this it's just i i am so surprised that such thing as this watch exists for 60 euros and no one cares quite honestly like someone like seiko or and whatever makes a watch that costs 200 euros and they can't even put a sapphire on the watch that costs 200 euros. They say, oh man, what do you expect? It's just 200 euros. You want sapphire in this price? Yes, I do. <laughs> That's 60 euros and it has sapphire crystal. Come on, if you're gonna look online for sapphire crystal, like buying separately, you know, as a part, how much does it cost? Like 30 euros at max, yeah, from AliExpress, from eBay, whatever. It's like about 30 euros. And then manufacturers say, well, this watch is 200 euros, it's too cheap, we can't put sapphire crystal in it. Come on, seriously? Just take off this mineral crystal, which you already have paid like, I don't know, 5 euros maybe, and discount the price of that sapphire, which, come on, if you buy it as a part, it's 30 euros. If you buy it in bulk, it's, I don't know, it's probably like 20 euros. So distract that 5 euros, so it's 15 euros. So come on, it, it would be 215 euros watch with sapphire instead of a watch without sapphire for 200 euros. So which one you, would you pick? A watch without sapphire for 200 euros or a watch with sapphire for 215 euros? Well, that's too, too cheap, we can't put sapphire. Come on, I will never buy a watch like that. No, no. For me, sapphire is basically a must. <laughs> Not a must, but Come on, I'm not paying 200 euros for a watch for myself without sapphire. Not happening. Don't bullshit me that you can't put the sapphire in. It's gonna make this watch too expensive. It's bullshit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Say me what, what you want. Manufacturing process and the, 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 the. source it out. Come on, people. <laughs> Move your brain. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I went a little bit off. <laughs> so about this watch. Yeah, so this watch, I just love it. It's a wonderful watch. It's a wonderful watch. These are my two main watches. This Casio MTP1200 is like a little bit fancier, business casual. And my everyday watch is this 5600BB. By the way, I'm planning on making a video about this 5600BB because it's also not original. And it's not even 5600BB. The bezel is different, the clasp is different, It's and the watch itself is not 5600 BB. Maybe I'm gonna make a video about it. This G-Shock is made out of three G-Shocks. <laughs> that might be interesting. So, this little watch. Look it up. If your hand size is the same as mine, look it up. You may gonna like it a lot. So, that's it. That's a small little video I wanted to make for a while. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.